if you guys are just now joining, it is Friday, 420. So welcome to 420 night. This is going to be Black Sheep Bravo's Friday Roundtable Special. So welcome for those of you who have never been here before. Uh, welcome. This is a show about uh, about veterans for veterans, and we're here going to be talking about issues concerning veterans and uh, other shit that just pops into our head because you know us. We are just all over the place, so uh, welcome aboard. But be, uh, before I start the show, uh, a couple quick announcements uh, and some recap. Um, well, I'm the Spaniard, by the way, in case anybody kind of forgot, but uh, welcome again. Anyway, this um, this past Wednesday, we had our first uh, ever uh, sit rep roundtable open forum. It was a pretty good, good turnout. I didn't really expect uh, a, a lot of participation, but... Uh, we had a, a nice small group, and I was lucky enough to have met a um, organization that and I'm pulling it up here. I'm trying to multitask because our technical engineer took today off. Um, hey, Rajesh. Yeah, Rajesh. Sorry. Uh, so let me know when you guys can see this. The, the crew here, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or something. Or uh, but this is the organization that came out to meet us to meet Black Sheep Bravo and. Uh, uh, Jan from uh, the Dunes, uh, it's down here at the bottom, the Dunes Dog Training Club uh, was there in attendance and she talked a little bit about uh, what they do there and the program they call Pets and Vets. So uh, what they do is they partner a veteran up with a rescue dog and they help train both the, the veteran and the dog to become either a service dog or a therapy dog. So wonderful pro uh, program. If you get a chance uh, to information is right here at the bottom uh, you can email them at info at dunes dog training club.com uh, you could also look them up on Facebook and their phone number is area code 219-996-4770 uh, let them know you heard it uh, you heard about them from Black Sheep Bravo and the Spaniard sent you and uh, make sure that uh, you, you know you give a let, let them know that you uh, they, they you saw it from here first so uh, Definitely give them a call. A great organization. Uh, anything that can help veterans uh, get through um, you know, some of the struggles of PTSD. So um, definitely uh, give them uh, give them a chance. Give them a shout out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So welcome again. It's Friday, uh, 4:20. We're gonna check in here real quick. Go around the table and uh, check in before we start with the topics of the day. So uh, since uh, since Wednesday, he's our fireman. He may have to pop and go here every once in a while. I'm going to start with you, brother. What's going on in the uh, Lake of the Four Seasons? No, man, I'm uh, I'm on medical leave, so right now I'm just chilling, drinking my Sprite outside, poolside with the dog. So um, we hit up the Dunes Training Club last night, had a blast. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just okay. an absolute. It's all on your own kind of deal. Like, they teach you training techniques, all that stuff. Um, you go at your own pace. My dog was wiped out by the time we got to the car. Right, on. awesome, very cool. Yeah, so hopefully you took some pictures, and we're gonna we're gonna be working with them. We're gonna uh, probably do uh, a little work. PCA. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna do a public service announcement for them, maybe even a commercial and an actual an actual interview uh, at their location. So yeah, right on, very cool. Ogre, uh, what's hey. going on in Stately Ogre Manor? Now for the sixteen people that watch uh, Monday Motivation with Ogre, there they know that. Uh, Oh, B is no more. Oh, that's right. She is yeah. gone. I left. I left off an important part of that. We were watching uh, uh, Force Awakens because she had never seen it before. Oh, and she's a big Han Solo, Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford fan. Yeah. And she was getting she was getting very upset with me because every time that Han Solo came on there, I was doing uh, my Harrison Ford impersonation, but I wasn't doing Han Solo. I was doing uh, ones from like you know. Indiana Jones and uh, what's the one with uh, the, you find that man? It's he swiss the samples. Uh, the fugitive. That's it. Yeah, yeah, they get oh, yeah that was good. I, I, think, I, think, I think get off my plane. Get off my plane. I think that got her. Said, that the said that's oh. what that's what's that's that spawned the whole uh, I guess fight you would call it. But it was her kind of being mad, telling me I was a jerk and shut up and. Why do I have to ruin everything and try to be funny all the time? And I just kept looking at snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? And she didn't find that amusing. And so we got an opening. So well, there you go. 
Start your application. You know, we we're, we were supposed to work on that before Monday, so I'm, yeah, I'm still the application yeah the process. application ogre's hoe application. So yeah, it's, oh, it's in the works. Really? Yeah, it's in, it's in the works. I, already got, I already got C and D taken care of, so you know this we yeah. need there's no C and D material. Not that I'm okay. a fucking Adonis or anything, but uh, guys speaking of Adonis, uh, double O, what do you know? What's going on in your in the nap? Hey man, I'm just I'm just happy to be here, you know, on another Friday with you guys on 420. You know, uh, just just a nice, exciting day today. You know, I had to go up to the Spaniards neighborhood, and uh, before I even get you know before I even get sh uh, started, shout out to Jabria the waitress. I'm not gonna tell y'all where she work at, cause then y'all be trying to flood my spot. Yeah, you know? th yeah, that's my spot. Yeah. Well, it's mine now. I I've been there more times in a week than you have. So there you go. It, it's uh, it's Fair all enough. good. Just just yeah. this week though. But uh, shout goes out to her. She hooked me up again with the bomb i mean the it's called a pot roast mac and cheese and man when nice. i tell you this will make you smack your mama it'll make you smack your mama <laughs> grandmama her mama all everybody's mama it, oh it yeah was i can vouch so goes out to her and uh just happy to be here fucking a right on cool all right now over to the east coast bobby from the bronx devil dog what's going on in the bronx Good, good, man. It's good to be back with the crew here, man. Uh, today was good. I did my usual uh, Friday nights where we do the uh, mentoring program with the Bigs and Blues. So that's yeah, what I did was... today. I mentored the kids, and that was it, man. Good to be the with youth. you guys. The, the, the youth. The youth. The youth. Doc and I talked about it on my last show. So that's what yeah, happened If you guys today. didn't catch it, go over to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to it. But also check out uh, the Devil Dogs Beyond the Thin Blue Line with the Devil Dog and Doc. Uh, new shows on Sunday. Go, they go live. It's now uh, two o'clock uh, Eastern time. We try to do it two, three, but you know, we, yeah. it's on Sundays yeah. though. It's on yeah. Sundays. Check local listings for further. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Great. Yeah, it was about the youth. Every time I, we were watching it, me and the trophy wife, we, we had to giggle a little bit because you, it, it always sounded like you were saying either youth with an F or youth <laughs> with a T. Every time we did, we made a drinking game out of it. it, was, it was oh man. Fun. Fucked up? Did you get? Oh yeah, hey. that's I'm, I'm still wearing glasses because I'm just, I, I'm just <laughs> hung over. Get, get him to say Manhattan. That's always my favorite. Yeah, oh yeah, when I say that, yeah, we're Manhattan. gonna throw it out there. We're gonna blink it and it'll say Manhattan. He'll have to say it. <laughs> hey Tony, Spaniard. yo, quick uh, shout out to another uh, product of uh, PF North High School. Hey, yeah, nice. lay it on. I, I see in the in the comments section that uh, George Pike has uh, joined. Hey, George Pige. I think he's, he's mad there. at me or something. He's out there. I mean, he's out there in the uh, the the hinterlands with you also, of North. Yeah, he's out here in my neck of the woods. Hey, George. Hey, return my calls. Uh, I'm a very sensitive man. If uh, I think you're mad at me if you don't text or return, and it, it's been about two years, uh, so reach out to me. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna come visit you soon. All right. Speaking of visiting. Uh, our visiting intern, well, he's not an intern anymore. He is our very own Doc. He has graduated. Doc, what's going on up there in northern Illinois? Uh, not much. Beautiful day, 420. Shout out to Ogre's Hose, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So, for those of you that are just joining us, uh, tonight's theme, because it's 420, um, we're going to be talking about topics re relating to veterans and veterans care involving marijuana, whether the medical or the recreational. So uh, for those of you guys that are going to be commenting, I want to definitely hear from you. Is this something you think that it's important? Is, is you think veterans care is more is um, uh, would be would benefit from the more uh, more research and study on medical marijuana as it relates to PTSD and traumatic brain injury? Uh, I'm going to bring up a little article here later on that talks about how Washington is now, uh, there was an article from the Washington Post about how uh, they are, uh, lawmakers are trying to create something, uh, some movement so that the VA can have the ability to study more about it so that our veterans have another option uh, rather than just uh, just straight up uh, medication uh, from the pharmaceutical part of it. So uh, we're going to be talking about that today, so be sure to chime in. So before we even start with that, can I mean, I'm just going to go just chime in if you can. 
420, does anybody know why and or where that came from and how it, how it relates to, to marijuana? Does anybody know about that? Any, any scholars here that know the history of this whole thing? Ogre, I knew you would do of it, so we're going to go straight over to Ogre's uh, stately, way, uh, stately Ogre Manor. To, I, I, did, uh, I did some research. I remember it from the 80s being in high times all the time, and it was a thing about, oh, four, 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 uh, 20 minutes past 4 in the afternoon was supposed to be the... You know, the, the, the best time to get high. But apparently, it started in the early 70s. There were some hippies guys that went to high school, and they uh, they came up with this plan. They were looking for this, this like, legendary lost crop of marijuana out in the, out in the sticks in California, and they would meet, and, and their meeting time after school was, was at 420. So the time, the, the plan to find this, this lost crop of weed was, like, the 420 whatever the Johnson plan or whatever the hell the name of this field was supposed uh, to be where this, yep. this weed was. And eventually that just evolved down into just 420. And then they started using that as code for 420 is for smoking pot or anything to do with weed. And then that was the early seventies and it spread through California allegedly. And then, uh, I don't know, by the time it was, like I said, by the time I was getting high in the eighties and like, flipping through a high times and cracking Brentano's and giggling, you know, it was in the back there. You'd be like, eh, 420. And you're like, what the hell is this 420 shit? And you yep. figure it out. And, and then now it's like, of course, uh, that younger generation, like Doc there, they got a room. Get off my lawn. They, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it turns into this whole fucking thing where it's, oh, the, oh, the 420 culture. And, like, if you go on Craigslist and you're looking for an apartment, it'll, somebody will say, must be 420. 420 yeah. This is a tolerable or tolerant and all that shit. It's a whole Shut up, movement. Movies. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely up and coming. So the best what time I'm going to start. The you get high is when you wake up anyway. Oh, yeah, there you go. So what I want to do here is just kind of go. <laughs> devil dog. What's that, Devil Dog? I just see him shaking his head. <laughs> well, that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to him first, because uh, he's got a unique uh, unique position since he is in law enforcement. What do you think? Well, first let me ask you this: What is uh, do you think um, the VA or even just the government in general should should allow? Uh, researchers to study more about the use of marijuana and PTSD as it relates to our veterans who are who have been diagnosed with it what are what are your thoughts on that part first All right. so you know yes being from law enforcement I have an issue with marijuana in general but having said that when it comes to our veterans absolutely I'm supportive of anything that will help uh, these veterans cope with these uh, illnesses whether it's PTSD or anything uh, related to their uh you know war and uh type of uh illness mm -hmm. if it helps the veterans i'm 100 percent for it i just don't want it to get to the point where it's going to be abused and uh people are going to start making money out of it but right. uh, regarding to the street I, I just don't i don't like it i don't like to smell it i don't like to see these kids rolling it up i've locked a lot of people up for doing it but um with respect you, to the veterans i'm supporting i'm supporting do you yeah. do you see a lot of marijuana cigarettes Absolutely, because it's decriminalized in New York City. Uh, well, you know, these kids will go smoke it right in front of you, and they know all they're going to get is a ticket. Right. So, you know, I could care less for all that, but like I said, for veterans, I support it. And Ogre, if I catch your ass at NYC doing that, man, you're in for it, bro. Oh, yeah. He might like that, though. That's He might be, he likes, he likes eating rough stuff. Rough stuff. He, like, he likes the kink. Won't be the first time to get roughed up by the man. <laughs> Nice, nice. Now, our since our doc, our resident doc, uh, we're gonna go over to him and, and uh, you know get your take. Same question, like I said. Uh, what are what are your thoughts and views about uh, veterans uh, as it pertains to getting uh, marijuana uh, implemented in their treatment? I like it. You know what? If it if it's gonna take them off the the harder, more dangerous mm -hmm. opioids uh like morphine and dilaudid and shit of course i'm all for it it doesn't really take that much to get relief you don't have to have this crazy high in order to get rid of some of your symptoms sometimes it could just be as, like a couple drops of that oil stuff underneath your tongue yeah. and it'll get rid of CBD. A lot of, uh, yeah. whatever i'm not an expert i don't have it i don't use it but anyways he's a psychology um, major <laughs> Not a yeah, but I'm, I'm totally all for it. Legalize the shit out of it. There's no reason for 
a stupid planet to be a Schedule 1 drug. Like, fuck off. Come on. Do it the there program already. <laughs> yeah. Don't hold back, Doc. Don't hold back. Yeah. That is, that is no yeah. Oh, and I got one more thing. Um, yeah. The, the pilot, the Southwest pilot, was a Navy pilot. And I just want to say, suck it, Air Force. Wow. Wait. What are you talking about? Kind of fill us in. You know, we we don't we don't we're not glued to our iPads and our iPhones. Well, you know, it's the uh, you you guys heard about that the woman that got like pretty the much female. sucked out of the plane, yeah, because the engine yeah. exploded. Well, um, the the pilot of the aircraft was a former Navy pilot, one of a female Navy pilot. So she did a really nice. good job. Apparently, people Anchors are hailing her as a What do you what do you guys say? Hua or whoa? Hua. Hua. Who ya? Who ya? What is that? What does that mean? Hua. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's me. Well, great, great. Thanks for bringing it. Well, that is. We we definitely would like to throw back because that is. I I bet you that was a very scary scene. Uh, so yeah, that took a lot of calm, man. We'll have to talk she about is, that. She probably man. had to smoke some weed after that to calm herself down. Half that half that woman's body flying out of getting sucked out of the window. Yeah, that's. that's I like how they say that they like the uh, the engine exploded, some debris hit the window, <laughs> cracked the window, and a passenger died was uh, was fatally wounded. It's like. Got sucked out the fucking window. <laughs> man, that's just that just sucks, man. I ain't flying. Like I said, I ain't traveling. I said it before. We can go back to that episode. I ain't traveling. I'm, if I'm doing, I'm hiking or, or you know. Ah, figure the odds. That's right. All right. Speaking of hiking, let's go down to the nap. Uh, double O. Your take on this whole marijuana and veteran uh, treatment plan? What do you think? The other day, man, I was driving down West Washington Street, and you know how you can have four lanes, you know, on a major street. Then you got that middle turning lane. Man, there was a lady in the middle turning lane uh -huh. that had a sign that said CBD oil. Yeah. I mean, pointing directly to, you know, their shop or whatever. Now, when it comes to vets, man, I'm, I'm down for any vet. I don't care what they have going on. If I can help you, if I can find a resource to help you, I'm going to help you regardless. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. Um, as far as smoking, I... <laughs> I don't. I really don't see how people do it these days because don't the whole joint have to go damn near all up in your mouth and be licked and all that other shit, man. I don't want. I don't want you French kissing something I'm about to put on my lips. That's how herpes get spread, dog. I'm not trying to do that. Bro. I'm not trying to do that. I mean, you know, they don't even roll joints anymore. You know, they. But still, they smoke the bowls and ain't nobody. I mean, if you see somebody with real black lips, I mean, kind of stay away from. Them, dog. I mean. So you're not. You're not. You're not down with the marijuana cigarette. You know, hey, you want to smoke? No, I'll get my own. Thank you. But other than that, man, when it comes to vets, dog, we we got so many. There's so many things out there that we can get access to. But yeah. everybody's oh, yeah. so scared to give us access to that shit. Right. Yeah. And that's not fair. You know, if yeah. I could be, you know, Susie Homemaker next door, you know, or the old woman living in a shoe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Next door to where I got 20 kids and all I got to do is roll one. But let alone I can go out, go overseas, do two tours and come back, be mentally fucked up. And I can't go roll one. That's going to ease me down. That's that bullshit, bro. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for thanks for your uh, thanks for sharing that, Wensy. Up there, man. Let's. Uh, what are your What's your thought? Well, first off, um, I did do some classes on to be a bud tender because I was planning to move to Colorado a couple years ago. Fell through. Whatever. But um, there's other ways of taking it. I mean, you can smoke it. You can eat it. You can take it as pills. You can take it as oils. You can take it off a vape pen if you're one of the vaping dudes that use a douche flute. You know, you can do a bunch of other things. And douche the flute. thing is, a douche. Wow. Are you a douche fluter? <laughs> Here, I got. I got to get that up. That's gonna be on the, the edited version. Uh, douche I'm, flute. This I'm is my I'm stealing that. I'm, I'm taking that one. Douche <laughs> flute. I like don't, it. don't get douche fluted by Black Sheep Bravo. <laughs> yeah. No douche nice. flutes here. All right, continue, please, no, with man, the douche I'm flute. Fine. Like, the thing is, too, is there's vets that have seizures. Instead of having them on the pills and stuff that don't work, that, I mean, I've seen it on medical calls where there's people that, you know, the pills don't work, they're still having seizures. Then there's cases where they give them the CBD oil, they give them the THC and stuff, and it, it stops. I mean, just boom, done. Um, you can look up Charlotte's Web. That's one of them. That's one of the strands that actually helps it. 
um, I'm all for it. I mean, I think that it should be out there because we're tired of the pills. I mean, yeah. I don't know how many people sit there and they come back with like 18 different pill bottles and it's like the major one pill, but there's like 17 other pills they got to take to counteract all the other. Yeah. Con- or yeah, other very years. common. Yeah. Very, very common. So, yeah. And, and I know there's, there's things out there and, and there is a lot of taboo still. And, but I, I got to say, I, I've, I've run into more and more people, uh, professional people. I'm talking, you know, uh, CPAs and doctors or law, well, more, mostly lawyers, uh, you know, professional people that have said, Yo, oh, yeah, I, I smoke weed. And, you know, it's, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm like, wow, man. And, you know, never would have thought. And, and they their, their response was very typical, like, I'm a grown-ass man, you know, or a grown-ass woman. I work my ass off. If I want to come home in the privacy of my own home, light up a bowl and relax and with a glass of wine, that is my, you know, hey, that's my thing. I'm not hurting anybody. Absolutely. I'm like, well, you know, I'm not judging, you know. But there, there's, I'm starting to hear more and more of that. So in the recreational sense, do you guys think, you know, let's go around and, and, and I'm going to ask this question. In the recreational sense, is this something do you think marijuana use is still kind of frowned upon like in a taboo sense or, or what is your what is your thought double law i'm going to start with you i mean it is man because you know you got this new you know you got this new strand generation of kids who just one they feel like they're owed something and two they don't have respect for anybody so it's like you know if you're going to do something like that i mean know the rules quote unquote know the rules know how you can do it how you can obtain it and shit like that don't just, you know, hey, I can go out and smoke weed just because. Like, I guarantee Colorado is, like, one of the most chill back states right about now. I can imagine. You know, I'm definitely wanted to check that, that out LA, to see that. And, and, and then each one teach one. You know what right. I'm saying? Pull pull somebody up underneath your wing. Hey, look, if you're going to do it, this is the way to do it. Bottom yeah. line. There you go. Well, thank you. Nice. Wensi, what are your thoughts? You know, recreation, I think it should be good. Um, Indiana, if we actually got recreational marijuana, I-65 might be done within like a month because oh, of all no the shit, right? I, 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 <laughs> oh my god, it's already that shit ripped up every single year, and it's the same mm. spots. You know, mm. let's get some recreational marijuana money back into, you know, the the whole thing going on and stuff. Maybe we can get money into the state. Maybe we can get the stuff done. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. I you mean, know? they just recently passed. Sunday liquor sales, and I, I'm I'm still trying to find out, waiting to see what the revenue was for having just Sundays. Uh, I could imagine. Oh, yeah. Recreational marijuana. Yeah, you cut out that first part. What was what was that again, Wentz? 2090, we'll probably get recreational marijuana in Indiana because we just oh, not. Yeah, 2090. Yeah. No, hey, you never know. Yep. Uh, Ogre, your thoughts. Yeah, Indiana and like Iowa will be the last states that pass it. It's uh, it's 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 bullshit. It's a Schedule One drug. It's on the same thing federally as as like heroin. And hey, give me a break. It's a, it's a fucking plant. And the reason it's illegal anyway is because of what did George Randolph Hearst in the twenties had to make it used his power to make it illegal because it was cutting into his fucking timber tracks because he was making paper. Because right, people yeah. made paper out of hemp. It's all fucking money. Money makes the world go round. Not to put on my Doc tinfoil hat, but it's cash. What, this what? uh, this this thing you there, uh, there he is. There it is. This uh, this new bill they're coming up with that you're gonna. I don't want to step on too much, but but the whole reason behind that is to is to take it off a of Schedule One drug, give it to the states, so these cats in Colorado and California and Washington, wherever the states that are legal. They can get a goddamn bank account to pay their fucking state taxes. Yeah. These guys got to go to the tax man. They got to go pay their state taxes. They got a wagon and a fucking Brinks guy and a stack of cash because they can't they can't get a bank account because it's still a federal law. No matter what, it's still a federal law. Whenever any president or FBI man or a federal entity says fuck these guys go in there and arrest that guy they can do it and there's nothing the states can do yeah. because of the constitution and because it's a, I, I never understood that how marijuana was on the same they, anybody could look at that smoking a joint and getting high and think that's on the same as some fucking cranked out junkie putting a fucking needle in his arm yeah. I mean I don't don't know how 
There's and the whole thing is on money. So legalize it, tax it, fuck it. People, the, the feds don't want to do it. Take it off of Schedule 1, throw it back to the states. There Let you the have it, folks, through, right from over. And there you go. There you have it. All right. Man, that, that, that was good. I, that was heartfelt. And I can, and I can Devil, get it again. Yeah, there you go. Devil Dog, <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts? Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but damn, I agree with the ogre, man. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. You know, with me, it's just marijuana. It's just I've been around it so many times with these kids in the street that I encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. And to me, it's all about like double O's. It's the 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 the, the, res the lack of respect mm. that these kids have now. You know, um, just doing it in front of whoever the hell they want. You want to do it recreational? That's fine. And what you do in the privacy of your home, I could care less. Get high all you want in your house, I could care less. But uh, there's, there's ways and places to do that. You're not going to go light up a freaking joint in the subways while you're in the train. Or you're not going to go in front of a freaking senior citizen's place and start smoking up and acting a fool. So well, that's that's where most people get their weed from, from the senior citizens. What's wrong with the old timers? Maybe they want to get high too. Yeah. They, got the, best, oh, they got the best weed from what I heard. Remember VE Day? <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> These WW2s vets know they yeah. they know the secret. <laughs> Wing, but that's baby. my take. Yeah. Hey, wait, Devil Dog. Yes, yes, there, Ogre. What's 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 the difference with I mean, what's the difference with having a a fucking law about like smoking a cigarette on the subway or being drunk and disorderly in public? Same thing. You cannot or, smoke cigarettes but, in a subway. Well, there you go. Right. There you go. So it's not like they're just gonna say, okay, it's legal. Go fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, there's there's. No, but I don't think anybody's saying that. Nobody's saying, yeah, sell it to kindergartners. Who gives a fuck? And believe it or not. I'm bet, saying that. I bet. Shut up, Doc. I bet. <laughs> nobody's saying that. Nobody besides Doc. Is there, is, I, I don't think, I don't think there's anybody out there that, that who doesn't smoke it or who never, sm I mean, I found it hard to believe that there were people that never smoked weed when they were in like high school. I was like, really? You're fucking lying. But there's people out there that if they made it, if they made it legal across the board tomorrow, there's people that there's actually people that aren't gonna smoke it. Right. Like if they yeah, made smack true. legal, right. I'm not gonna run out and say I gotta get me some smack. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, and and alcohol kills more people and cigarettes kill more people than weed put together fucking a hundred thousand times over. Yep. Ever. All time. Yeah. Yep. People, people fucking drinking themselves to death and sitting there, oh, look at those, look at those kids with no respect smoking their joints. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, see? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, man. That's classy, oh, man. baby. All right. Now, now what were you saying? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's, here's one element. Here's one element. Let's say, let's say, uh, see, now... Uh, in Indiana, there's what? There's two of us, three of us in Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is not legal, both medical nor recreational. Uh, I believe in Illinois, they were starting to pass a met. They they've passed a medical marijuana bill to have it legalized in Illinois. Correct? Yeah, but it's not. Yes. Uh, it's not the old California late '90s medical Version. marijuana. Okay. Ooh, and I got a headache. Here you go. Here's your prescription. Right. But in New York, in New York State. Same thing. It, there's nothing. Uh, it's still. It's still. Uh, nothing has been legalized. Nothing has been approved in New York State. Right. All they did was decriminalize it. So they instead of getting arrested, it. you will get a summons and you'll be okay. on your way. All right. So, I think what, what, I think what they're what, trying to what do. What good is that, though? What? 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 I mean, what good is that? A bunch of fucking Money. paperwork to do what? No, it's a ticket. It's a okay, ticket. It's a ticket. Okay, think because about it. Because they hey, got I, tired I, of these kids going through central booking and going through the system yeah, that's and a getting an ass. arrest record. So they saw they did a study. There's too many kids being locked up for just a, a, a joint. So what they did was it's just now a, a summons so it doesn't affect these young kids when they grow up and have a criminal record for being locked up for marijuana. Fuck them. I mean, shit, lock their yeah. ass up. If, if I, you, I'm if with you, you but... There, no, you man, no, but wait a second. That's... You know how much paper. You know how much time it takes to book and write a report yes. for just. You know, it, it's a dollars, it just, brother. It takes, it takes, dollars. It it takes a police I, officer off weed, the street. A, a and, I, and I get that. And I get that. But walking I, down the street with a with a nickel bag, you want to fucking throw the book at him and put him in fucking jail for but, what? But you know months? what? I, I tell you what. I tell you what. What what the problem is? Nobody's making an example out these motherfuckers. If you sitting up there and I didn't got booked. 
for a dime bag. Hey, yeah, throw yeah, the book at their ass. Do we already tried that and it didn't work. So that, what's yeah, the point of continuing been, this process? They've been doing that since the work. 30s. I mean, yeah. Hey, right, send the, them over the, here. The drug wars. <laughs> the drug wars over. They lost. Now they're send them over, to send them over here. How to, how to make That's, a dime out of it? That or, or, is, ship they, or ship they ass overseas and put them on the front line. That's what you do. Jesus. Gonna, yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're not go Great learn. Britain and sending all of our criminals to Australia. That's why I said send them. Send them here first. We're gonna send them to Indianapolis. That's right. Send them here first. <laughs> really, really. Will, will you fuck send them every seedy child and, and scared straight? Send them to Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, straight, that's it. You, you had a half ounce. You gotta go to Cincinnati. You, you had two ounces on you. You're going to fucking Youngstown, Ohio. No. Hell, hell yeah. I'll be, good. <laughs> I'll be good. Hell yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No. You had three Youngstown lately. Because, because, because the thing about it is, okay, I'm about to get a ticket, pay my little fine. Go smoke some more, get another ticket, pay yeah. another fine. I mean, yeah. now does it, money. Does it That's double, all you does do. it double and triple? Who's the? Are, are, you're not you're not murdering anybody. You're not robbing anybody. Yeah, man. man you, but, but, Ogre, but, you could be a legal aid lawyer, man. No, fucking, fucking <laughs> fighting for the rights of these kids smoking weed, man. No, what that's the that's what he. Not, it's a it's a victimless crime. That's what he does on the weekends. He he takes one of his buses <laughs> and he, he sets oh, up shop man. at the Ogre back of a Kroger up, or a Myers. And he goes, hey, free legal legal counsel. Off, go over there, go over there to Myers and set up shop. I say, hey, you. Ogre sets up like Girl Scout cookies and shit. <laughs> that's, a fucking, that's, a, that's a racket right there. That is a racket. Uh, talk about I got a comment some... here. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, Vic said it should be the same as alcohol. I'm, I'm imagining the uh, restrictions that are placed upon. Well, there you go. You can't yeah. if you drive around plastered and drive and knock and fucking run into a family of four and kill them all, your ass is going to jail yeah, for a long common time. Common sense. That's if just common sense. If you're stoned out of your fucking mind and you run over a couple of kindergartners, you go to jail for a long time. But if you're sitting at home, drinking a but fucking wait a beer second. or drinking a fucking not, vodka gimlet or whatever, and you... But you, Ogre, wait a second. Smoking a joint. What's the diff? But wait a second. Do you do you do you save the kindergartners or do you run oh, over your mom? Yeah, you, 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 nice. you, you, uh, you, you, well you save the kindergartners right after you're getting fucking nailed through a sunroof or something. Yeah. <laughs> we still yeah. haven't heard that story either. Well, we're going. We're going to have to. We're going to have to do it live, though. We're, when we're all together, we'll have to do it live. I, I just don't get it. Like Doc said, they've been doing it. The drug war is over. They they lost. Yeah. Now let me ask you this, they Doc. They should just leave it. Well, okay, go ahead. Doc, now you you go to a you go to a university. Um, I sure do. Is, do you see a lot of marijuana use on campus or around campus mm -hmm. these days? Um, every once in a while, uh, I'll get a whiff of it, but it's not as it's much not as you would think. No, it's not a problem at yeah. all. I so mean, I mean, that, that's no, no one's no one's like out. smelling like, oh, I smell. Let me go tell the cops really quick. Yeah. <laughs> No, because like I said, that's what I really want to find out is, I mean, is it really an issue? I mean, do, do people really care? And that's what I like to find out from our Facebook viewers. Um, if you smelled marijuana, what would you think of it? I mean, was, is, is that something where you you frown upon it? Is that, you know, what is your judgment on that? Because, again, it kind of goes back to that whole uh, stigma. I mean, you know, if it, just because a person smokes weed doesn't mean he's a stoner hippie. He may be using it because he's got glaucoma or he's got migraines or whatever. That's what, you gotta mind Some your the, business. Yeah, mind you know, I mean, business. so what do people think? My bad. I, Spaniard, I didn't mean to step all over you, bro. My, I mean, in, in, okay, I think everybody is the same when it comes to in the privacy of your own home. Hey, you do what you want to do and shit. You can get yeah. oiled up, put a damn apple in your mouth tie your hands together and smoke weed and do what you I, want hey do. i told you not to relinquish that <laughs> oh shit my bad my bad I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry That's supposed to be other, for other us. than that man when you step out of your element when you step out of your home other than devil dog okay yeah. if you step out of your home because this this man he 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 devil dog he's 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 the city he's batman that man runs gotham Okay. Right. So when you step out, if it's not affecting me or anybody around me, or let's say I'm I'm sitting on a bus and I see somebody light up in front of an old lady, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 when I intervene. But if you want to fuck your own self up, yeah, 
I mean, that's you. There you go. I'm okay. going for legalizing everything. Let people do what the fuck they want. If they kill themselves <laughs> oh because God. they overdose on some... It's like leaving Las game. Vegas, huh? Yeah, just let, let them do it. Survival of the fittest here. Fuck them. Oh. Okay, all right. Let, let people that's, make their own I've, choices. I, I've, I've been drawn more to that... Uh, that's stock here pretty libertarian there. That's uh that's yes. more of a that's Absolutely. I don't know if I'm prepared to go that far, but I could see certain things being taken off. But you know, there's a point where you're like, eh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah why not? Prostitution. If you wanna if pay these, taxes on it. If, yeah. if, if, if the Spaniard wants to prost prostitute himself, who's you know I accept who, coupons. Who who, who are you hurting? <laughs> I, I, or whom are whom is being hurt in that transaction? Some well, well, unless in, he has like HIV case. or something, and a lot of people yeah. can be affected by that. Well, that's so. why you have regulatory regulation. commissions. Yes, uh, that's why you have government regulation. That's right. Things. You got commission. Well, got I'm all for less government. So yeah, yeah. less government uh, regulations and just more do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, mm. you can't just do whatever the fuck you want because if we're gonna make money off of these fucking drugs being legal, you gotta have some government. You gotta, you gotta make something out of it. Oh, no, I'm not talking about the government making money off of anything. Hmm. I, mean, I am. Well, that's because you're, that's, that's, that's where our paths end with your loony <laughs> libertarian <laughs> ideas. Uh, we're going to take a short recess break. Uh, we're going to head over to Double O. He has a side job working for Time Life magazine, taking subscription orders. Uh, he will be taking your order uh, you right this, now. Uh, you we're going to take it over phone. to Double O. Go ahead, Carly. You're on the air. Hey, um, I switched from Time Life to fixing Dell computers. So uh, if you have a Dell computer or any kind of computer and you need my assistance, first off, let me get my headphones <laughs> because I can't do anything without my brand new headphones. Okay. Oh, man, I'm telling so, you, I must have spent seven hours on AT&T <laughs> a couple weeks ago, man. I, I did, mean, you I did, did you call me? Did you call me? I did not. I did See, not. I wish that, I would I, have. But I didn't have my headphones then. Mm. So now I got them. You call me. Yeah. You probably spend six and a half. It won't there be the go. whole seven, but you'll, no. but, you know, I'm, I'm going to get my money's worth. Speaking of reaching out, that that's gives us a nice segue. If you would like to reach out to us at Black Sheep Bravo, go ahead and take a look at our pages on Facebook and YouTube, as well as our uh, phone number and our email. I don't know. I'll, I'll post it up here on the uh, description as well. That's a, that's uh, a fine... Uh... That's nice. Fine hand yeah. out there. Yeah. It is. You know what? I threw this together in about 10 seconds. I went to some print shop, and I was flirting with the ladies behind the counter, and that's what's they, up. Gave, they gave me a good deal. That's, that's cool. the Marine Corps way. That's how oh, we man, do, baby. Damn, improvise over gum. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's how I get all my fur no, coats and tie. Just go flirt. Oorah. There's no yeah. yut. There's oorah. All right, so now we're um, as we're as we're getting closer to the uh, end of the hour, uh, I'm gonna turn it over to our our doc and uh, go ahead and give us what segment do you have for us today? Your your we have segment. the sketch game. All right, All right. Game game it is. Let's I'm prepared do it. This Get week. your paper. I'm prepared. This week. Oh, you are prepared. All right, man. All right so what we are doing this week is. You are going to draw something that makes you happy. Oh, oh damn. damn. That's okay. what's up. All right. Here we go. Let me get some paper. Let me go. <laughs> something that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we will begin the music. That's... Oh, wow. <laughs> I need a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> Not turning out how I thought it was going to, but that's okay. Very easy, simple, very, very basic. I have a strange feeling that some of us might have the same drawing. Uh, it's possible. Are you guys done yet? What are you, what are you yeah, guys doing? Yeah, I'm good. Is, is, is I'm Steve not... out there today? Steve, oh, Steve, you? what are you doing? Hey, is where's he Linda? And for those Linda. of you at home, if you would like to draw yours and submit them, that would be great as well. 
we will post them on Facebook. Yeah, no Steve, no Linda tonight. What the hell's going on? Maybe they're I out together. I told them we were on. Maybe they're high. Right. Are they out together? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're high and out there, out together, smoking weed. Hey, you're getting high. It is 420. All right, everybody, stop. Let's see what you got. Let's go with Ogre first. What do you got? I always first. Oh, I wasn't first. <laughs> okay, this is pretty simple. No, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Of course. He, he likes bitties. the bullseyes. All right. Oh, Big wow. old bitties. <laughs> Double dog, show me what you got. I got what you got. Show my me what you got. best companion. Shout out my service dog. Ah, oh, look, at, look that. at that. He. I like that. Why does your dog have a terrible wound in its middle of its body? <laughs> it, that's her freaking vest, dude. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, sorry, my bad. Let's see, what do you got? What makes him Well, happy? because it is 420. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There we go. See? Okay. He does my... have artistic I'm kidding, capability. I my dog. Oh, see, he thought like me. I drew my dog. There you go. <laughs> okay. Dogs. What, what's her name? Clara, right? Clara? She was being bad. She had to go inside. Oh, dear. Nice. Nice. Yep, Clara. Okay, nice. Linda said, I have a feeling you're all going to draw something about the female anatomy. So far, no, that's, that's not freaking true. Over. Linda, what kind of shout out to Double O. What up? So, Double O, what do you got? I got a gang of shit. Oh, a gang what of shit? What? Oh, is, is that a bag of money? Bag of no, cash? well, yeah, yeah, that's money. That's okay. money. And I'll explain yeah. this one in a second. But, of course, you know I got the drink of the week. Yeah. The martini. Right. And, and this is for Linda. That's 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 a peach. Oh. So, yeah, devil dog. Yeah, I yeah, got you, baby. brother. Why does yeah, it have that name? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I do, baby. All right. All oh, right. Spaniard, show us what you yeah, got. Yeah, so I'm very, I'm being very artistic in my 420 day today. Um, kind of to keep Linda, uh, keep God. Linda happy. I love clouds. That cloud clouds makes me happy nice. in the, the sunshine. Sun is quite impressive as well. The, the sun yeah, is, is the sun is stoned, um, but it's a happy day, and that's it. There's nothing else but clouds. It is a happy day. You and Ogre Those man. Those mountains match my peach. Happy happy clouds. See? So, well, I guess it's down to me. This is what I got. I do two things. I'm Damn. not. I'm is that not a Chinese throwing star. Damn. Yes. That is an ugly broad. <laughs> that, chick's got, that chick's got some shoulders. Fucking Mongolian. Yeah. She, she must be from South Chicago Heights. Holy fuck. God. Yeah. Damn. She is about as big as the Dallas Cowboy offensive line. Right? Oh. Damn. Ogre wouldn't like even have thick. that as one of his holes, man. That's hey, like a, no, that's, that's the like chick a that's on the elevator. With did, did you see her face? Oh, that's, that's is that the elevator is. girl? Oh, that's man. Oh, man. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, welcome aboard. My brother is Army Veteran. Pete is on the air. He's an Army Veteran. Army up, Veteran. Man? There you go. What, welcome aboard, Pete. Hey, Wensi, go ahead. What What do Army guys say to each other? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I don't, don't you guys have a special uh, grunt oh, or something? A sneeze? What do no, you guys I'm say to each other? I'll tell you what, man. After you get out of basic mm -hmm. and you hear hua every five seconds, mm -hmm. you are ready to chop someone's freaking tongue off. I mean, it is just the most annoyingest sound you can hear. Hua, Sergeant. Hua. No. Wait, wait, that's the army. Wait, that's wait, the army, wait, man. Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do, what do you want to say to him? What's going on? Hey, I'm much, oh, I'm much man, your bench. my yeah. dog. Oh. What's your uh, what's your max? Uh, what's That's your max? What's up, man? We no. love you, Wentzy, man. You you're all right, brother. Wentzy. <laughs> Wentzy. That's our army guy right Mr. there, man. Our, yeah, our our resident army dog. Nice. All right. Well, uh, let me see what else before we head over to our next segment. Just a couple more announcements of some upcoming shows. Um, let me see. It's Friday, so Monday uh, coming up. Monday we will have our weekly. Monday Motivation with Ogre, that starts at 7 p.m. Central, 8 uh, Eastern. Uh, so make sure you catch us there on that on Monday. And this Tuesday, this Tuesday coming up, our premiere show with Double O 
his real deal with 007. We're still kind of working with that because I noticed on some of the videos you said you said something about the, the real. You said something low with 00, but that's when you're out in the you know when you're out and about. Right. That's that's your own little segment. But yes, that's going to be his his official show airs premieres this Tuesday at uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern, five o'clock Central. All right, so make sure you uh, you get that because we're going to be worldwide, man, worldwide, both uh, on the East Coast and uh, Central Land. Worldwide entertainment, frozen hoes. Live from freaking Walmart. <laughs> and you also forgot Beyond the Thin Blue Line on Sunday. I'm getting there. I know I was getting there because Tuesday and then well, that Wednesday. Well, be first because that's it Sunday and then I'm Monday. Hey, man, this is a, hey, hey, hey. What? God damn it. All right. <laughs> Guess I got damn it. I'm gonna start with the Beyond guess the Thin Blue Line guess then. Who this is. Yeah. That's an eyeball. Nah, it's Angie Dickinson. <laughs> See, nobody knows who that is. I right, fuck. I think nobody I knows know. who Angie Dickinson is. Ricardo says, answer. shout out to Devil Dog. All right, Ricardo, another veteran of friend of mine that I've oh, met. All right. The now, are these, are these people from the force or just people from the block? Well, Ricardo is from my uh, area at the 4-4 Precinct, and he's part of the uh, Citizens Academy. So, uh, shout out to Ricardo. Thank you for joining us. Man, God. right on. Right on. All right. So continue, Spaniard. Plug the show, okay. brother. Uh, so, yeah, so we have, uh, before I was uh, corrected, don't ever correct me again, on Sundays, <laughs> it's uh, Beyond the Thin Blue Line with Devil Dog <laughs> and Doc. So, that's going to be on Sundays. And then, uh, of course, Fridays, we have our Friday round table, round table, so make sure you check us out for that. Uh, another announcement, next May, or well, next month, uh, May 16th, um, we're going to have another uh, sit rep uh, open to the public. Uh, again, when people showed up, they were like, well, what, you know, why are we even here? And I said, well, it's for whatever reason you want. Uh, you know, we want to hear from you. We want to hear feedback about how we could improve the show. Uh, future segments, future topics, future shows even, and then just to spread out uh, some information about veteran-related topics and news. So uh, it, was a good, it was a good deal because we met Jan from the uh, Dunes Dog Training Club and Pets and Vets. So, uh, so the next time we're doing that will be Wednesday, May 16th. So mark your calendars, and depending upon what kind of response we get, I may have it... Uh, I may have some goodies there, some pizza or some of that, some something to eat. So free food, if anything. So make sure you reach out to me and let me know. All right. So there we have that part. Um, so I'm gonna head head back over to Doc. Um, do you have any other segments for us, Doc? Oh my, of course yeah. I do. Come on. What kind of question is this? Though? But tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different, though. I'm going to. It's not gonna be the the purple and blue thing that we normally do. It's gonna be a picture of an actual person. Uh, don't worry, they're they're completely clothed, and it's within the terms and services and agreements with Facebook, etc. So don't don't fucking report us for this shit. <laughs> um, I want you guys to come up with a name for it, for this you go. particular position that we're use, about to witness. Use your left side of your brain. Use your creative side to come up with a All name. All right. Let watching. me know when you guys Whoa. can see oh, wow. this. Oh, that is a strange wow. position. Right. I'll give you a second to kind of think of something, but... Ooh, I know what it is. I, I don't need know. a second. Oh, you do? All right, well, then we'll go straight over to the Spaniard. What do you think it is? No? Okay. All right, we ready? Yeah, yeah, you go first. Okay, well, my, my, first, my first initial response, my first thing that popped in my head was front wheel drive. Ooh, ah, nice. That's good a one. good one. Nice. Good one. Yeah. For those of yeah. you in the audience, please let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Is. Welcome back, Steve. Welcome back, Steve. Steve, what's up? Steve, you Where made coke it at? just in time. Damn, that Where was that a good one, at? Spaniard. Thank you. All yeah. right. Double Dog, show us what you got. I'm going to say the buckle up. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. Um, I'm going to save... 007 for last. Let's go to Wency. I'm going to go with the uh, reverse airbag. Oh, <laughs> nice. that's good Pretty one. good. Pretty good. Nice. Okay. Wow. Ogre. The Jane Mansfield. <laughs> Jane Mansfield. <laughs> Holy shit. That, okay. that took some thought. That look was her, good. Look, look her up, Doc. Yeah, wow. look her up. 
No, that's not going to happen. I'm I'm just not going to do it. I'll say it. (laughs) Facebook viewers, look up James Mansfield and you'll get the joke. Please. Oh, Uh, double O. All right. To keep it in the same line of 420, I'm going to call this one the Headbanger Boogie. Ooh. Okay. There nice. you go. I initially thought that this is going to be driving under the influence. Ooh, oh, nice. Man, nice. you guys. This was a good one. Very oh, good. Yes. Very good. Now, for those of you watching, please comment, and we're going to have a contest. So here's your here's your chance to shine, to act now. If you have, we're going to make this a contest. If you have the best caption, or caption. If you have the best caption, you may win a prize. So tell your friends, the more responses we get, the bigger the prize is. So there's your little tidbit of information right there to make the prizes bigger. The more responses, the bigger the prize. I'm going to start it off with a $20 gift card. All right. $20 gift card. So there you have it, folks. Brought to you by 007. It's a $20 gift card. Maybe once we get our t-shirts, we can throw one of those in, too. Uh, yeah, that's, stop that's saying it. that shit, man. We'll never get... No, don't. No, they're, they're coming. Stop stop saying no that. faith in me. I did all the work. No faith. Yeah. Yep, no you know, faith. No faith. You know, Devil Dog, that, that youth program, who do you think's making the t-shirts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, little Chinese workers. All these kids are going to town making these damn t-shirts and you know, Devil Dog walks in there. Come on now, bitch. Come on now. That's what they're giving him the award for. He's you guys want to know about respect. Set up on the Lower East Side. He's got all the fucking exits <laughs> chained off and shit. That's a fire exit, Mr. Devil Dog. Shut up, get back to your soul, Mr. Devil They gotta give me another fucking award. I need 2,000 more units. <laughs> But, 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 Officer Devil Dog, we're hungry. Ah, God damn it! Please, Devil some... Dog, can I have some more? No. <laughs> Here, here's your humanitarian award. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you get these T-shirts, don't They're... mind the smell of, of children's sweat. <laughs> don't it's mind just... the smell of <laughs> children burning flesh. <laughs> oh, what? These, guys are bad. these these T-shirts were American-made. God damn it! They're American-made. <laughs> I'm thinking of the fucking, there was a fire in the 1900s oh, or whatever yeah. when they had them locked in a sweatshop and they had all the eggs and here is, I have yeah. another contest. I know this is a week of contests, but here is one contest that we needed to do a long time ago. So viewers, please spread the word. If you haven't done so yet, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on all these wonderful shows that we are producing. But our Black Sheep Bravo Sheep, let me... Um, let me see if I can pull him up real quick. But uh, we don't have a name for our mascot. So I would like to start a contest as to name our mascot. The person with the best name to subscribe to the best per- so the best subscriber who gives us a name. Well, how are we going to know if they're a subscriber? I guess it really doesn't matter. Just that the best name will win another prize. <laughs> Whoever the fuck you are, just send a name in somehow. Send something, man. Just <laughs> send a something. Just you'll yell it out your window. Hey, Devil Dog, how about Pete? That's a good one. <laughs> you'll Don't get me a your fucking bone when here. we get our shirts. Yeah, yeah just, just, just humor me, man. What just write something down. Write fuck not. I don't care. Dude. Black Sheep Bravo. Hey, can we? Uh, no, I guess we can't join it. We can't join it? Yeah, I think, I don't know. I guess to get it started, maybe we could post a couple names to, to get to, to get the juices. Is that a boy sheep or a girl sheep? It's um, you know what? It's, I don't know. We don't well, know a yet. Sheep, we don't a either. sheep is a girl, right? I, yeah, I don't know. No, I think uh, it's a transgender sheep. I think uh, oh, yeah, uh, it is. Oh, oh, it's, it's a ram. A ram is a guy. Yeah, it's. Oh. Uh, it has one ram. Yeah, so it it is a male. It's a yeah. male sheep. It's a you. It's a trans transgender sheep. But it could be a female. A broad sheep. Dude is a bro. Wow. Well, there we go. All right. So those are all the announcements. Before we go ahead and, and sign off for tonight, uh, we're going to go around the table one more time for any last uh, announcements and final thoughts. So we're uh, going to start it off with uh, with Doc. Uh, any announcements and and or final thoughts? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, one of my uh, cats died today. Not mine, but my my mom's. It's a cat that I had growing up and stuff. Well, rest in peace, little asshole. Uh. Um. Shout out to Ogre's Hose again, naturally. Ogre's Hose. There's an opening. And. Oh, there's uh, an opening, all right. The last thing I got, I don't know, I'm about to go eat a steak after this and. Is that code? Get intimate with my right hand. (laughs) (laughs) A tube steak. All right, that's it. Happy 420.
420. There you go. All right. Yeah, go over to Precinct 44, Devil Dog from the Bronx. Any right. last announcements and final thoughts? Yeah, last uh, announcement and final thought is uh, you guys did wonderful going to that uh, event where they talked about the uh, pets and vets because, uh, like Wentzy knows, I got my Shala here and she's been instrumental with uh, dealing and coping with PTSD. So I encourage all our veteran viewers to look into that program. You'd be surprised, man. A pet does wonderful for uh, us veterans. So uh, that's all I got to say. And as always, all my law enforcement, always wear your vest, guys. There you go. I'm Great. Put that I mean, up that, man, that, I'm so uh, proud that you guys got involved with that. Yeah, here's the website again. It's the Dunes Dog Training Club uh, out in Hebron, or is it Hebron? Hebron. 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 I, I always give everything an accent. I don't know why. Hebron. It is Hebron, Indiana. Uh, <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> you don't, uh, you don't want to say it like that down there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the area code 219-996-4770. Again, the number is 219-996-4770. It is the Pets and Vets out of Great. the Dunes Dog Training Club. So again, check that out. Thank you very much for bringing that up, Double Dog. You got uh, it. So uh, over to Wensi. Uh, any last announcements or final thoughts? Uh, last announcements, um, you know, just... Hit up some vet businesses. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of girls out there, too, that own their own businesses. You know, they're struggling. We're vets. They're vets. You know, let, let's hit them up. You know, I know one, um, my buddy down in Texas, Matt Butner, does uh, cover me. He does a lot of, like, painting for, um, like, like uh, dressers and, you know, all that stuff. You know, he refurbishes furniture and stuff. Hit them up. Um, same thing with uh, the Pets and Vets. You know, there's a bunch of vets there. You know, hey, hit up these businesses, man. There's a lot of people that are out there. If you got a vet business, hit us up, man. You know, we'll put you on air and everything. You know, talk to you, call you on. We'll promote you. Yeah. You know, other than that, don't be a dick. <laughs> right on. There it is. Uh, spoken from a true gentleman, Wensy. Don't be a dick. All right. Speaking of which, uh, Ogre, final That's thoughts, it. announcements. Sure, I appreciate that intro there. Uh <laughs> Don't forget. I didn't. Monday. At least I didn't say. Speaking of dicks. Oh, that's <laughs> that's that's how I understood it to be. We'll talk no, later, no, pal. No, you're uh, you're good. Monday. Don't forget Monday motivation with Ogre. Uh, I'd like to get more uh, comments during the show so I could argue with somebody because me and uh, the Spaniard seem to just agree okay. on everything. <laughs> so I don't like confrontation, that. so I, I, I always I agree. But uh, yeah, just uh, same thoughts as usual. For those of you out there that, you know, got stuff going on, stuff you got to deal with, that yeah, we're here. That's with Vets is there. The Spaniards got all the hookups there on the, uh, you know, the email and the phone number for you if necessary. We're just here an hour and we do our silly shows during the week. Uh, well, you know, Sub Devil Dogs is a little more serious. Mine's kind of silly. And uh, we'll get the double, double O's. I'm sure that'll be something. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> something. <laughs> You know, it's it's 420. So happy birthday, Adolf Hitler! And uh, there we go. That's that's what 420 is all about, isn't it? It's April yeah, 20th, sure. Hitler's birthday. Why not? Let's celebrate something. I like thought it. that's I thought that's what it was all these. Yeah, I don't know. Could be. I mean, it's a, no a, April 20th. I'm not a fucking Nazi. April 20th is Hitler's birthday. It was a little joke. Ha ha ha. All right, ladies see? and gentlemen, and you does go. not endorse Hitler's birthday. Or Nazis. Right. Yeah. Or Nazis. Everybody's there were no Nazis. There were no Can Nazis his promoted. Birthday parties? I bet his birthday parties were fucking rocking in like '36 or so. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's some yeah. lost footage someplace. And that big. It was one of fucking those chicks like Doc drew with the big German <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's, that's his picture. All, All right. right. Speaking of the ladies. Big, 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 big birth of bitch. Big birth. Big yeah. birth. All right. And last but not least. Double O, tell us what you know. Any last uh, final announcements or final thoughts? Since uh, you know I come with the drink of the week, I had to put it in a special Ooh, Pilsner. Boy. Yeah. Um, once again, sticking with 420, and I truly love Amsterdam vodka. This is three shots of berry, three shots of apple, three shots of uh, pineapple with some cranberry and as you see it's red so this is called the red light district 
Damn. Nice. Wonderful. I like that one. Holy can you, uh, shit. Can you like post that recipe? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Ladies yes, and gentlemen, yeah. not only do you get entertained, but you get culture. You get drinks. You get sophisticated <laughs> drinks here on the show. So uh, uh, now, hold hold on. I'm I'm gonna kill myself like ogre shit. Uh, Say kill yourself. Chug 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 chug. Down in one. There down in people. one. Yeah. Now, now, what are you, you gonna say? That there's nobody out there dying from like cirrhosis of the liver or drinking themselves to death? I, I don't know any. <laughs> you just gotta have respect. <laughs> have respect when you're doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another hour, another Friday night under our belts, and I want to thank you guys all for joining us. Uh, again, your uh, your comments, your suggestions, and your support really matter. Uh, so if you haven't done so yet. Go ahead and like us on Facebook and go over to our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well as tell your friends and neighbors. We are a veteran-based radio network uh, of, of veterans for veterans, so definitely uh, reach out to us. I will post this up here again, and I will also have a link so that you will be able to reach out to us uh, in different uh, different modes. So, uh, again, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to catch uh, Sunday night or Sunday during the day for uh, keep an eye open for uh, Devil Dogs Beyond the Thin Blue Line with Devil Dog in the Dock. And once again, as always, uh, thanks again for supporting us. We really appreciate it. This is the Spaniard from Black Sheep Bravo, keeping it tight. Spaniard, out. Have a great week.